not create me. Well, greetings, family. This is Pastor Ren, and I'm honored to be able to share with you a kingdom nugget. I got excited because reading uh, the Apostle Paul's writings, he says something that's so profound. Listen to what he says, and I want to read a different translation for you. He says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatsoever's true, whatsoever's noble, whatsoever's right, whatsoever's pure, and whatsoever is lovely, think about those things. Why? Because they are praiseworthy. I, I want to encourage somebody because we must renew our minds, the word tells us, daily, and we do that through the word of God. And if I'm going to renew my mind, I've got to change sometime my environment so that I can change what's being deposited into me. Psychologist says there are four things that shape our thinking. And number one, social environment. Number two, credible authority figures. Number three, repetitious information. And then number four, my personal experiences. Can I give them to you again? Psychologist says there are four things that shape my thinking social environment, credible authority figures, repetitious information, and then my personal experiences. If that's the case, then I must change my mind so that I can change my outlook and change my life. How do I do that? Here's your kingdom nugget. It'll be on the screen for you. Your thinking pattern has to become a deliberate and intentional act. You willfully participate in shaping. Let me say it again. Your thinking pattern must become a deliberate and intentional act that we willfully participate in shaping. It's something that we've got to constantly, deliberately and willfully do. And if we change our thinking pattern, we can change our life. I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'm believing that today is going to be the best day of your life. Now go build the kingdom. One person at a time. Let's be. When you created me.